Hello everyone, let us solve section B of today's computer application board paper of standard 10 ICSC. Question 3. Now what question says? Let's have a look. Question says we have to define a class name student member variable. They have given their member variable. Then we have to write three functions accept, allocation and print. Okay. So class name must be student. Okay. They have given class name. So we have to write class student. Then we have to declare the variables string name and stream in page and marks. Now in accept function, I just have to accept all these values. We will ask user, enter name, age, marks of students. I'll take name, age, marks. Okay. Now allocation. Allocation of stream depends on what? Depends on marks. They have given three conditions. What are that three conditions? If marks is greater than 300, science and computer. Greater than 200, less than 300, commerce and computer. Greater than 75, but less than 200. Sorry. Greater than 75, it should be less than 200. Then we have to write, we have to allocate with stream, art and animation. And if the student's marks are less than 75, then we have to print the message. Try again. Now, see here. As we discussed, we took the accept function. All the values are taken in the accept function. Then in allocation function, if marks are greater than 300, I have allocated the stream science and computer else if we have to check two conditions greater than 200 actually whatever is given in the condition of question paper you have to write same greater than or equal to 200 and and less than 300 then we have to allocate the stream then again else if greater than 75 and less than 200 then art and animation otherwise what will be the stream you just have to print that you have to try again in print I have printed everything System.out.println name, age, marks, and stream allocated. What is public static void mean? We have to declare the object of which class? Student class. Student OB is equal to new student. What is my class name? New student. Okay. Then OB.input, OB.allocation, and OB.print. We have called all three functions. Done. Question number four. Now, what question number four says? Let's see. We have to declare character array of size 10. We have to use the bubble sort technique. So let's proceed. Declare the character array of size 10. Enter 10 characters. We will write the message outside the for loop. In the for loop, what I have to do? This is very, very important. How can we take the input from the user? Character input. We have to write as dot next dot caret 0. Now, logic of bubble sort. What is the logic of bubble sort? I goes from 0 to a dot length minus 1. J goes from 0 to J less than a dot length minus 1 minus I. Then what will I check? If a of J is greater than a of J plus 1, swap the values. At the end, I have to just print the sorted array. For I is equal to 0, I less than a dot length, I plus plus. And system dot out dot print ln a of I. In short, you have to remember or you have to write these two for loops properly and swapping, then you will get 15 marks. Very easy question. Next. Next question is question 5. We have to overload the class. Define a class to overload the function. Means here class name is not mentioned. We have to write two functions, void print, void print. Okay. One is uh, printing the pattern and other one is doing what? It is checking whether the number entered is lead number or not okay so question 5 we have to overload the function so i have written first function void print for loop 1 to 5 why because there are number of rows this this gives you total number of rows and j is for what total number of columns or we can say number of columns okay and we printed i. Why are we printing the i? Because in the question, in a given row, element remains same. Okay. So, system dot print in i. When the one for loop or nested for loop is over, we have to, your important thing is you have to write print. And after one for loop is over, you have to write print ln. Next print function. 
नेक्स्ट फ्रेंड फ्रेंड फंक्शन सेज वी हैव टू डू समेशन ऑफ इवन नंबर्स एंड ऑड नंबर्स और वी कैन से समेशन ऑफ इवन डिजिट्स एंड ऑड डिजिट फ्रॉम द क्वेश्चन और फ्रॉम द नंबर सो इफ नंबर इज थ्री सिक्स सिक्स नाइन इफ फॉर एग्जाम्पल द नंबर गिवन बाय यूजर इज थ्री सिक्स सिक्स नाइन देन इवन नंबर एडिशन इज ट्वेल्व एंड ऑड नंबर एडिशन इज ऑल्सो ट्वेल्व नाइन प्लस थ्री इज ट्वेल्व सो इट इज कॉल्ड लीड नंबर सो आई हैव डिक्लेयर टू वेरिएबल even digit summation and odd digit summation which is in the beginning zero for n greater than 0 i extracted the digit from the number if the digit is even i have written sum of even is equal to sum of even plus x else sum of odd is equal to sum of odd plus x and every time we have to do n is equal to n by 10 so if sum of even and sum of odd are same then the number is lead number otherwise the number is not lead number so this function overloading is done we don't have to call them using psvm no need okay next this is just for uh, uh, execution purpose i have written if you write then also it is okay if you don't write then also it is okay here class theme is question 5 so i have to make the object of question 5 ob is equal to new question 5 if you want to run then class name whatever class name you have given you have to make object of that class okay next question 6 question 6 is what let's see question 6 is very easy question we have to accept a string print the number of digit number of alphabet and special character in the string so number of digit how will we find number of letter and number of other characters or special symbol right what i do i have written enter the string string is taken from the user x is equal to s dot next a particular word will be taken from the user the loop will go from 0 till string length length of the string every time i will extract the character ch is equal to x dot caret 0 now extracted character i will check if character dot is letter if it is letter i will do letter plus plus if it is digit i will do num plus plus means what i am counting number of letter number of digit and rest others other things are what they are special symbols so other plus plus very simple question only within 5 to 6 line the logic is done we have to print the string is this number of alphabet is number of digit and number of special character next question question 7 <clears throat> design a class to accept a value into an array of double size and we have to do linear search very easy linear search you might have done correctly because linear search binary search or in bubble sort there were 100% chances of bubble sort and it came next is out of linear search binary search they have asked linear search you might be knowing linear search program only the change is you have to declare the array of what double data type then you will take enter the 20 elements because they want 20 elements a of i is equal to s dot next double taking the array is important then enter the element which you want to search t is equal to s dot next double now i am searching for it if a of I, if i will run value of i will run from 0 till length of the array if a of i is equal to equal to t i will write found at which position i plus 1 why i plus 1 because array starts from zero so suppose this is the array 12.3 45.6 78.9 so 45.6 present at which position first position but when we talk about array indices it will be zero and one so according to i it will be at one position index one but in examination you have to write the proper position so we have to write i plus 1 and then we are doing break why are we doing break because element is found after coming out of this for loop you will check if i goes till the end means if i reaches till length i is equal to equal to a dot length means what element is not present in an array that's why we traverse till the end of the array okay last element of the array next question number 8 
Question number eight says, define a class to accept a value. We simply have to add one digit numbers and two digit numbers. User may enter one digit number or user may enter two digit number. So we have to add them and we have to listen. We have to print in this format. So printing is important. Question was so simple, but printing was important. So let's see how I did. I declared one array int a new int 10 of size 10 then sum of a one digit number and sum of two digit numbers for them i have declared two variables text i have to declare this string answer is equal to why i am declaring this to store the result in this format okay to store the result in this format so now for i is equal to 0 i less than i took the array then what am i checking see here if a of i is less than or equal to 9, less than or equal to 9 means what? It is one digit number. I added in the sum variable, I have declared one string so that if array is like this, 2, 13, 4, 56, 7, 43, 2, 1. What does it mean? I have to join 2, 4, 7. So how I am doing? Answer is equal to answer plus a of i that is i am adding 2 then plus is ready next time when one digit number will come i will join and i will add plus sign when next one digit number will come i will add and plus sign then when next digit will come i'll add 2 and plus sign why i am doing this then 1 and plus sign because we have to print the result in this format so i'm printing the result in this format with which data type i have taken string data type i am joining it every time okay same way for two digit number but there is a problem what is the problem i am ready with all one digit numbers in this form but extra plus sign is added so what will i do at the time of printing i will take substring from this given string i will take substring till length minus till length minus 1 okay so upper limit is excluded so this plus sign will not come so how i printed that is important sum of one digit numbers answer one dot substring from where from the beginning i want but answer one dot length and answer two same sum of one digit number and sum of two digit number answer one and answer two two strings are taken Answer 1 and answer 2 are two different strings are taken just to get the result in the prescribed format. Okay. Let's see the output. See output comes the way it is asked in the question. We entered the 10 digits or 10 elements and sum of one digit number and sum of two digit, two digit number. I printed in the format. This I have stored as a string in answer 1 and this I have stored in answer 2. Hope you like the video.